Hi, Chuck Woodbury with RVTravel.com. And, uh, you know, a lot of times when we go on uh, our RV trips, we leave our houses unoccupied. And, you know, that could be an invitation for a crook. So I'm here today with Sergeant Cole Langdon of the Linwood, Washington Police Department. And Sergeant Langdon, what can people do, RVers in particular, when they might go away for three weeks or a month or whatever, what can they do to help protect their house from minimize the chances of a burglary? Sure. Great question, Chuck. One of the first things you're going to want to do is you're not going to want to advertise that you've left the area. So your Facebook page is getting on there. You're going to want to be aware of who is monitoring your Facebook page. If it's private, you're probably okay, but understand friends of friends, word can spread. So if you're spreading the word that you're on vacation, you're taking pictures where you're down the Grand Canyon, it's going to spread pretty quick that you're not home. Next thing you can do is leave a car out in the, in the driveway so it appears as though somebody is there. Having somebody even spend some time as in a house sitting type of role would also be helpful for you. Uh, neighbors, always important to, to foster those good relationships with your neighbors and having them keep an eye out for things and maybe even park their car in your mm -hmm. driveway. So there's that constant vehicle movement so that anybody that might be casing the neighborhood would, would have to give it a second thought and really start to wonder, is there somebody home or not? You just don't want to broadcast that the home is vacant and therefore available for the taking. Uh, another option that's available with many jurisdictions and it's worth the phone call to your local law enforcement agency is uh, vacation checks. What they'll do, they'll send normally a volunteer force out. Uh, almost every agency has a fairly strong and robust uh, volunteer program and they'll send volunteers out and they'll do a walk around of your house a couple times a week while you're gone. What you're going to want to do is give them a time frame as to when you'll be taking off and when you'll be arriving back home just so that they don't have a misinterpretation of information and think that the house is being burglarized uh, when in fact you're home and you're, <laughs> you're enjoying a barbecue in your backyard. So it's going to be important that you reach out to them first. That's a great resource, but also foster those relationships with your neighbors and have them help keep an eye out. Get that car in the driveway. Maybe get a timer switch for lights inside the house so that they're going on in the evening hours and turning off in the morning. Those are all helpful things that will give the appearance that somebody is home, uh, whereas uh, broadcasting again that it's it's unoccupied is just not what you want to do. Now, you see people that leave their, don't cancel their newspapers and they've got right. four or five newspapers. Now someone once told me, maybe this is extreme, but they said, put uh, uh, plants with stickers under around your windows. Nobody will climb through those things. But that's kind of extreme, right? I that, mean, you know, if it, there are passive landscaping type options that you can that you can look at, uh, but for those people who don't have that in place, and that might very well be effective as a deterrent. Again, we're looking at deterrence here. We can't prevent all crime. We can't prevent all burglaries. But you just don't want to make yourself an easy target. So having sticker uh, type plants in front of your windows can be a strong deterrent for people and, and serve as a good passive. Uh, prevention technique to keep burglars away but but really at the end of the day not everyone has that in place and you're not likely to go out and plant those shrubs right before you leave for your two-week yeah, vacation yeah. Um, and somebody's got a big motorhome that stays out in the front yard 50 weeks out of 52 they're really not a whole lot they can do to hide right. the fact that they're probably gone huh right but again that can be countered by having another vehicle in the driveway, oh. by, by providing some sort of movement at the residence, by having the neighbors come by and check, having them park their vehicle in, in your driveway. Mm -hmm. It would give the appearance that someone is home. Maybe even have them come and do a quick walkthrough for you. Find a uh, neighborhood kid who doesn't mind coming over and watering the plants. Mm -hmm. Just some uh, extra set of eyes and some movement around the house. That's really what you're looking for. Okay, so, great. Yeah. All right, well, thank you very much. Thanks for having me.